Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So finally I can go ahead and sit down and film this because I did receive this guy two days ago. Yeah. So this guy shipped, shipped out pretty early. So today is February 11th, my mother's birthday. She's turning 71 today. Yeah. So I did get this on the 9th. Got this on February 9th. Yeah got this one I wanted to film yesterday but that was impossible work makes everything impossible <laughs> almost couldn't do it today because again I left later today after I was supposed to left just like yesterday left after I was supposed to got overtime today yeah well I guess extra money for me but since I'm a planner I'm a planner it ruins everything <laughs> yeah and then tomorrow a lot of work and the day after super world sunday a lot of work yeah well i'm off on valentine's day so there's that valentine's day and the day after yeah i get that so finally can go ahead film this guy yeah so this will be for the month of february my boxy charm base Still waiting on my Ipsy's. My Ipsy X shipped out a long time ago and it's still in New Jersey. My Ipsy Plus also shipped out a while ago and it's still in New Jersey. Has not moved. I don't know what's going on with New Jersey, but nothing is moving. Nothing is moving. Yeah. There's that. Now also my Lunar Beauty Mystery Box. I did get one. That's on the way. I think it's in Orlando now. Yeah, it arrived to Orlando. What else? My regular Ipsy's still haven't shipped out. Yeah, that's pretty much it. What I'm expecting at the moment. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, there's that. Because I did finally get the second pair. The second pair. The one that I had paid for and only one of them had shipped, it arrived. I think this was yesterday. The Necessaries Boutique, the little CC earrings. Yeah, it was a gift for a friend. Yeah, part of her Christmas gift, because I wanted to add that also, because still with my other two friends, we still haven't met up. It's February and we still haven't exchanged Christmas gifts. All right, so back to this. Right, so we're going to be unboxing this one so if you guys are interested yeah so welcome back to my channel or if you're new hi my name is maria jose not maria not maria jose maria jose one word <laughs> yeah this is me getting out of work and you can still see from the hairnet yeah so let's jump into it got my glass of wine or tumbler because it's a stainless steel tumbler fill to the top yeah at work they gave us a $100 gift card first thing I bought two bottles of wine <laughs> yeah yeah I just got that all right so I quickly wanted to mention because I also did wear this yesterday I liked my look yesterday as well, but I didn't get a chance to film. Trying out this guy. The BH Cosmetics Barcelona palette. Wait, the time that I'm filming this, I don't think... Because I think this video is going to go up first before the haul. <laughs> There's a few items on my face from that haul. So I did this one yesterday. More neutral look. Yeah, kind of sticking to the more neutral ones. I did... Montserrat on the lid and didn't go too deep on the outer corner today I went blue I used this one to deepen up Sagrada Familia since that one has glitter I just tapped off the brush I'm really really loving this Casa Batillo what is that? Bat Batillo? what? I've never 
Yeah, I don't know. Because I know this is in Spanish, but I've never seen that word before. But this one is beautiful for the inner corner. Really, really good. Yeah. Wearing that. I'm wearing on the lips this guy from Palace Identity, which is the Gilt Gold Dragon Velvet Lipstick in M11. Yeah. This feels amazing. It feels so thin on the lips. I love it. And it was actually really good underneath the mask. I just blotted on a toilet paper before and it was good. And for blush today, I did do Baby Cakes from ColourPop. And I still have blush. Yeah. There's that. So I guess we'll be seeing these items in an upcoming haul. Because this video is going up first, even though I already filmed that one. Yeah. So jumping into this guy. And then also little earrings. I think that's also part of the haul. These guys. Check out a set. Multiple of these in different colors, but finally I have the light blue ones. Because I had ordered from Shein. It was two pairs. Supposed to be a pair that was pink and a pair that was light blue. But instead I got three pinks, one light blue. So I finally have the light blue ones. So jumping into this guy. So this is the $27.99 a month box. Oh, and as I'm filming this, Mega Drop Shop hasn't opened up yet, so I guess I'll do those when I'm editing. Because that's until Monday, and right now it's Friday. Yeah. So for this one, it's Be My Glamantine. And I do have variation, let's see, 22, zero. So, 08. Number 8. Alright, so firstly on top, we have these guys. So this is Lava Los Angeles False Eyelashes Flirty Lash Kit. So the style is flirty. It includes an eyelash adhesive, which is latex-free and waterproof, and an applicator. So the lashes, which are really, really pretty. The applicator and then the adhesive. Though honestly, I just love my liner glue. I do already have one of these. I have a lot of lashes. Mm, but these are so pretty. And these don't even fit in that drawer either. Yeah. Yeah. And then these guys... This kit retails for $54. Yeah, $54. But then I'm pretty sure I'm going to find this in Drop Shop. Pretty sure. So I guess for this one, I'll go ahead and add the Drop Shop price on the screen. Yeah. I wonder. Six? Nine? Probably. <laughs> yeah. All right, then the next item I do have Tea Me Detox Mask Green Tea Blend Matcha Lemongrass Clay. And this guy is 75% organic and it's from Seminole, Florida. And from what I see here, the only skincare item. The only one. It's a plastic container. Yeah only one so that's pretty good and this guy retails for $29.99 yeah we're probably gonna find this one there also I don't know how much this one probably around the same price point six nine yeah I don't think this one will be too much in drop shop so we have that then which this I'm not happy about because it's another black liquid liner. So this is from Estate Precision Liquid Liner Felt Tip Eyeliner. It doesn't say the shade anywhere, which usually means black. Yeah, usually that means black. 
And then this guy retails for $12, new brand to boxy. Yeah. So if this retails for 12, I wonder how much it'll be there. Three, four, four or five dollars, probably. Yeah. Yeah, not happy about this. I always love it when it's other colors. Let's see. See, it's white packaging. Yeah. White packaging. It doesn't say anywhere. The shade. It is pretty packaging. So yeah, that usually just means black. I have enough. If it was a different color, then I would happily accept it. <laughs> Still filming. And then the next item we have here from Elamasqua Hydra Setting Spray. 3.3 fluid ounces. And then this guy retails for $26. $26. We'll probably find it there. Probably, wonder if it's six, nine, maybe. So I think 12 for this would be too much. I think 12 would be too much. Yeah, Hydra Setting Spray. Have received primers before, so now a spray. Yeah. Which my mother, she's making business over there. I guess in Nicaragua they don't have anything. So anything that comes from here, everything that she took, people bought it up just like that. And they're still asking for more. So one of the things they're asking for, setting sprays. I do still have plenty. So yeah, I think I'll give this one to her so she can sell over there. Make some money, make some money. So yeah yeah everything i've been decluttering has been for her so she can go ahead and sell over there so even if it's used they'll buy it up just like that and then the last item is the one that i chose so this would be again is it ace beauty the glow essentials highlighter palette and then this guy retails for 40 dollars, and it is a new launch Yeah, well, mm, we might find this in Drop Shop. I think so. So for this one, would this one be 12? Maybe. The Drop Shop price. Yeah. I'm gonna remove this. So it does come with a mirror. <gasps> that shade popping. Because it looks white in the pan, but as you move it, it shifts to a light purple. It reminds me of the Becca one that I bought at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Oh, yeah. Be this one popping that shifts. Yeah. Really, really pretty. So I see a white glowing, take a champagne popping, a white that shifts to purple, radiance, a pink gleaming, peachy, just like a peachy color, and then beaming, mm, bronzy, kind of bronzy. I have to swatch these to see if I can use each one on my face. Yeah. Yeah. This looks really, really nice. I've been really liking this brand. Really liking it. Yeah. Really, really pretty. So, I'm going to go ahead, tally everything up for the total retail value according to the card, and then add it to the screen what would be the real retail value for me. Yeah. All right, so I tallied everything up and I would get $161.99 according to the card for the retail value. Pretty good, pretty good. It's pretty high. So 
I guess for the actual value according to drop shop I still it still it doesn't flow still think pop-up would be <laughs> probably say that's a big jump it's a big jump big difference yeah because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna find all these items on there yeah Alright, so for 28, yes, do that. I like the lava lashes. Yeah, I guess the setting spray, I can give that to my mother so it's good for her because people over there are asking for that. So the green tea detox mask, I can try that out. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I like those kind of masks, so that one would be nice. I like the lashes. Yeah, I guess the liner would be the only thing that's not appealing to me. Oh, I wish it would have been a color. A blue. Yeah. Blue one would have been perfect. Yep. Yeah. Because I'm still looking for that really, really good blue liquid liner because I did really like the ColourPop one but it just dries out so fast because today I use the NYX Epic Ink Liner which I've had for years and it still works it still works so yeah the ColourPop one definitely dries out too fast so yeah that would be pretty much it because at this moment I still haven't swatched this one but I did do it for the insert, I insert that in later for close-up shots. It's so pretty. That poppin' one. Yeah. I did see someone unbox this and try it on. And it's not beaming. So I like that. I like that because now I'm not really into the ones that you can see from space. Not really. Yeah. So I'm excited for this, but that would be pretty much it. So as you guys saw towards the beginning, there's a haul coming up and some of the items on my face. Yeah, it's a nice one. Had to film a lot of close-up shots of a lot of products because it was quite a bit of items. So yeah, that would be pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!